also uh, choices on um, selecting a second axis so you can show at the 34.5 or a 41.60 voltage so there are a lot of what I call the bells and uh, whistles or uh, options provided with the program providing grids of course and you can change the grid to your liking and change the decades or use a more like a K and E size um, uh, um, grid and change the transparency of color there's quite a bit of option provided we're not going to have enough time to go over all of them but there are quite an extensive number of options provided with ETAP star uh, legends of course uh, legend is provided so you can input the information for yourself by simply double clicking on this it will take you to the legend page you can type in your information or bring the information from your project you can add in logos to your uh, your company logo for example if I wanted to add a logo to my legend you can do that on each side or you can type in a name uh, I can type my name next to it and so forth and uh, basically the printing is as simple as basically click on a print preview you have options of excluding or including your one-line diagrams um, changing text boxes uh, printing it to any size paper to a plotter uh, PDFing it uh, putting it in, uh, in electronic format all those options are available very similar to the same way we do a printing our one-line diagram uh, you can also batch print your one-line diagram your one-line diagram as well as your uh, time current characteristic curves which you would do that simply by having a star view open and going to file and batch print which I won't show you at this point but basically that feature is available a couple of more uh, advanced topics before we um, finish the pro uh, finish this webinar um, the, the program provides you uh, with number of other elements uh, the, like for example low voltage breakers um, low voltage breakers come in different shapes and sizes of course you have molded case power breakers um, and insulated case breaker. Here I'm looking at a power breaker from Cutler Hammer and it's a Westinghouse uh, trip device or it could be a Cutler Hammer trip device, same company in a sense in this case. And you have a section for ratings and you have a section or a page for trip settings. This particular trip setting is a solid state trip setting. It uh, has a sensor, set of sensors and plugs and uh, you have a phase on the ground functionality, long time, short time, instantaneous and simply you can plot that and see how it looks so you have the both the long time uh, long time band and you have the in this case since we don't have the short time selected this is my instantaneous if I wanted to enable my inst my short time I can simply do that and in this case it has both in and out functionality that I can enable and now have my long time short time and instantaneous so it's simple as basically enabling those features in your model and seeing the TCCs uh, if this device was a molded case breaker, uh, let's say if I have one in my system here, I can select a library. For example, I can, um, let me see if this device has it. We'll just go and select one actually. You can simply select uh, a molded case breaker, which might be, let's say, ABB EHP6, 0.48, size 35. Actually, let me just switch to something else, which I do have a trip device for. So I can select this type, and it has a Cutler Hammer AQB. It's a trip device. Basically, it has the trip setting, which is not fixed because it's a thermal device, and I can simply plot that device, and it's a, it's a device you see here. Uh, our program is designed so it, uh, the libraries are valid and verified, so what you see on the one line is exactly what the manufacturer provides. Uh, we have a very strict, of course, being a nuclear pro great program, all the uh, program is valid and verified um, so the TCC curves you provide is the manufacturer published curves and our deviation levels are 0% for rating and less than 0.1% for most of the other devices uh, for TCC curve points so uh, basically you can select your different types of devices let's say you go to power breaker you can select a different manufacturer a different size and so forth and um, given the manufacturer you select you can select the trip device that comes with that manufacturer in this case electromechanical um, and so forth and so on so if you select the square D you have a list of solid state trip devices that you can select from and basically you simply change that to a solid state trip device uh, there's also another mode within star which is uh, you can switch from phase to ground mode and if I have my ground selection selected for this device and let's go ahead and do that if you have a ground curve selected for this device you can switch to the ground mode 
and you can see the ground curve. And uh, let's see the reason that I don't have my ground curve because I'm clipping the ground curve. So let me go ahead and remove my clipping. Here is where you can uh, select your clipping currents, and I'll show you that in a second. Here's my ground curve for the same device, and here's my phase curve. The same thing is true for the relays. You can see your ground responsive curve is in the phase mode, and your uh, ground responsive uh, device is in the ground mode. You can also bring your phase responsive devices in the ground mode, which is we can talk about um, um, a little bit later. The other tools provided are zoom to view. There's a number of tools here. Crosshairs, for example, you can select on the crosshair and you can drag the curve on either the minimum or the maximum clearing curves and it gives you the time. You can leave that in there and actually move it along at any point. You can print with that information. You can drop a free-flowing or non-linked time current curve uh, crosshair which gives you the current and time. And you have an option of adding user curves which is a new feature we added. Uh, you can add your own curves to the program. Um, create basically a type in a curve name type in a number of plots which you can actually bring from Excel and paste it directly in here. Um, you can type in um, the description, link and so forth. In fact you can add this curve to your library and use that as a future. Let's say you want to add this as uh, my curve and uh, you can give it a category, say sample test curves. And once you have added the information and then you can recall that at any point let's say if I wanted to recall this curve I can at any point recall that curve from my library so that's another means for providing you uh, tools for adding your own libraries directly the uh, other options provided are plot options as we briefly discussed so if I was to again replot a portion of my system and I'm going to go ahead and bring these two transformers in to a new star Um, here's my transformer, here's my inrush. You have options for sending the curve back and front by simply right clicking from here or you can do this through your plot options. So you can send the curve in front and back, you can change the color of the curves. The way you do that is simply by going to the plot options, you go to the device tab and here it shows me the list of the devices that are available in my star view. For example here is my T4, transformer 4 and in, he, uh, in this uh, view I have three tabs appearance, preference and label. Here I can change from a different color sequences and I can apply that so I can change these simply by just selecting from a pre previously defined color sequences or I can customize my curves any way I like. Same thing is true about your uh, breaker. In the case of a breaker since it has two components to it, a phase and a ground component, you can change your phase and ground components so simply you can change them from a pre-selected elements and what this color sequence it means is if you have more than one type of that element on your on, on a given star view it will walk through the sequence and try to make a different coloring for it so for example if I was to create these two elements on the same TCC let me let me create a new star view notice the two come with different color sequence since uh, it would distinguish them from one another. So that's an easier uh, tool for you so you don't have to manually go there and change the information but if you choose to you certainly can bring up the plot option and change it as I just showed you. Uh, there are other tools provided for example preferences for shift factors and showing and not showing the curve in the different modes. The labels provided here you can select your type your own labels you can select from a list of available properties for adding to your labels or you can use the default labels in the tab which is quite comprehensive you can change the color of the label uh, you can add the settings by default so if you want to see the defaults uh, default label at any point you can actually have have that applied um, so you have the option of showing or not showing the label as you wish and if you want to globally change this for a given project you can always go to your default section within ETAB which you can set your defaults for different number of modules one being ETAB plot option uh, for star and you can globally change your options in the default menu so every time you create a new star or you can apply a, a new defaults to existing star you can do it from right from here now um, I want to go ahead and cover two more items before we break in for uh, some Q&A. There's also reporting uh, means for you to get the reports for a given portion of the system. So you can bring up the report menu which is a customized crystal reports. You can select from uh, all the devices or you can categorize them based on just your fuses, your relays, your overload relays and so forth. 
and by simply doing that is you select the type of report you want from a different 